storm track weather as Sarah you are tracking this hurricane but what can we expect here locally this afternoon well good afternoon everyone you know locally we are staying shy of obviously the hurricane track we are staying dry locally but of course as we focus on Francine it is moving onwards toward the Louisiana area as expected so overall as we track the movement of Francine it is expected to hit the New Orleans area about 6 p.m. tonight so we are of course continuing to track that winds going up in that time frame that is expected to make landfall winds are expected to be about 65 miles per hour which of course is very strong so taking you to a live look with our Doppler radar. You can see, of course, El Paso, Las Cruces looking pretty calm, looking pretty dry, but off the coast of Texas here, you can see uh, Tropical Storm Francine as it moves through warm water and the Gulf of Mexico. Now it is again expected to reach hurricane status as it hits Louisiana. Now, along with the Louisiana area that's seeing some impact, we could also see that storm surge just east of the Houston area, and that could potentially lead to flash flooding. So definitely a lot of major impact associated with right now this tropical storm again anticipated to be a hurricane and that is of course on the other side of Texas So moving us back locally El Paso Las Cruces looking rather dry for right now overall expecting a great day weather wise locally we are looking dry we are looking to stay calm very similar to what we experienced yesterday now the slight difference we will see is temperatures getting a little warmer so today we kick off that warming trend looking to reach the 90s for El Paso for Las Cruces we are seeing temperatures climb from yesterday so yesterday we reached 89 El Paso and today looking to see about 92 so you can see the impact of that warming trend temperatures climbing steadily now not feeling too hot as of yet but we are expecting this trend to keep warming us up day by day so for the latter half of the week by Thursday that's when we're anticipating these temperatures to potentially reach the upper 90s. So again, the impact is really going to be felt towards the latter half of the week. Again, locally today we are looking dry. We are looking calm. So getting ready for lunch, looking to stay calm for both El Paso Las Cruces at 12 p.m. But headed out to about 4 p.m. as you're getting off from work, picking the kids up from school, still looking at those clear skies, calm conditions all the way into dinner time about 6 to 7 p.m. Then rounding out the evening tonight into 8 o'clock and onwards, still looking dry, still looking calm. So overall today, still a beautiful day, just slightly warmer. So for today, Today we are seeing temperatures a little warmer at 92 with a look at your 7-day forecast sponsored by Mattress Firm. However, that warming trend is going to be a little bit more impactful tomorrow and onwards towards the latter half of the week. El Paso and Las Cruces also seeing the impact with temperatures climbing and then our rain chances starting to increase by the weekend. 80s.